Avacyn is probably one of the most beloved stories in the magic canon because of the tragedy that belies her character as a protector of the innocent turned into a monster in the name of revenge. But in order to talk about her, we must first talk about the circumstances that made her necessary. Avacyn was created by Soren Markov to protect the humans of Innistrad from his own kind because he knew deep down that if left to their own devices, his family would outright kill all the humans for food and would only end in vampire eating vampire after that. So Soren created Avacyn, the church, and the hell vault by drawing on ancient beliefs regarding the moon, and ta-da, we got Avacyn. The church's power flowed from their belief in her, and from her, not peace, but rather a balance was maintained between the humans and the things that went bump in the night. With an equilibrium established that set Avacyn as the protector of the people, the stage was set. As a person, Avacyn was exceedingly benevolent to all humans she encountered, especially children. This is the same being who understood children for their innocence and honesty, but didn't see a point in smiling. To her peers, like Sigarda, Avacyn was a strange detachment from her sisters. Having said that, Avacyn did murder Liesa for consorting with demons, so maybe that's her logic, but I don't really see a difference. If mana is hand sculpted or naturally grouped together, you get an angel, you feel no matter what. Overall, Avacyn was a dogmatic, caring, and I'd say pleasant being for humans. After her freedom from the Hell Vault, she led humanity into a year of peace and prosperity, but something had begun to tear at her mind. Disgust towards the humans. After some, um, interesting interesting events, I'll say, like making the new Lunark piss himself and faint in fear, Avacyn would arrive at Sigarda's home flanked by Gisela and Bruna, who tried to float the idea of killing all the humans, which Sigarda refused. Avacyn would then proceed to round up a large host of angels and attack a town and slaughter the townsfolk. Something was clearly wrong. Specifically, this was all the work of Nahiri and getting back at Soren for imprisoning her in the Hell Vault. The flight would move to Thraben, and there Avacyn would encounter Jace and Tamio, who tried to stop her. But right when she was about to kill them too, Soren appeared. And after a brief conversation where Soren offers Avacyn all the help and assistance he could possibly afford, only for Avacyn to spit in his face and tell him she would never yield to a monster like him. Soren then was forced to destroy the closest thing he had to a daughter. He unmade Avacyn. As Soren unraveled the spell that made her, Avacyn's last words were, I am Avacyn. I am to protect. Thank you so much for watching, and may your revels never end.